I wake up in the morning and I see my daughter and I say, I don't want to go to work. And I go to work. That money is important to feed your family, to pay for electricity, gas, the mortgage, to live. And at the end of the month, nothing happens. You ask yourself a thousand things. What have I done wrong? Is this fair? We're working eight hours and suffering more than people who are not working. By December, they'll owe me 6,000 euros. They owe me 10,000 euros. I'm an educator at a rehabilitation and social integration center for the mentally disabled. My job depends on subsidies from the regional government's welfare department, which have not arrived since the beginning of the year. So we've been paid whenever they want. My husband is a bus driver and he's also had job complications this year. He earns 300 euros less a month than a year ago. The uncertainty these months has been terrible. There are nights when you cannot sleep, moments when you talk to yourself out loud on the street. It's been terrible, terrible. We started to cut expenses at home drastically. Services we thought were basic, like, for example, the landline or internet, a parking garage, cut. Everything cut. If it wasn't because we asked my mother for money, we wouldn't have been able to pay the mortgage some months, for sure, because we didn't receive any income for almost six months. In 2013 looks even worse, because payment delays are going to continue and subsidies will probably be cut. For now, I'm going to keep my job, and while we can, we'll hang on. When your salary gets paid that day, it seems like the sun has risen three times. It's a day of joy. I work in a tile factory, and in 2008, it started having trouble paying both workers and suppliers. Very few imagined that we'd reach 2012 being so, so much worse than how we were in 2008. Now the company is bankrupt. It's going to disappear, and we're going to be unemployed. It's very sad arriving to the factory and seeing everything stopped. There's no noise, you don't see the tiles coming out, it's like everything's dead. My husband is on pension because of a work accident 16 years ago. He can't stand or sit for long periods of time. One good thing is that his pension income is fixed. Right now, we're surviving thanks to the help of my mother and my brother. They've lent us money to eat. My daughter... A ver. Everything she says, look, Mom, we could buy this, or look at that. My answer is always, no, there's no money, we can't, no, look, that Mom doesn't get paid, no, Nuria, we can't buy it. It's really frustrating to say the truth. You can't arrive and say, if you don't pay me, well, I won't work. You have to continue. Before, when the situation was better in the labor market, when a worker was owed two months, what did he do? He quit and went to work for another company. He didn't stand it for so long. Now people stand it because now if they leave the company, where do they go? 
In 2010 and 2011, after a few months of not getting paid and delays and with the company not taking responsibility for anything, my co-workers and I decided to take it to court so an impartial judge could decide. At the end, we won. We've been paid part of the money we were owed. There's another part we have not been paid and possibly will never receive it. The only way of earning that is the government salary fund, where we'll lose around one-third of the money we're owed, more or less. Now that the company is closing, to tell you the truth, I don't feel any relief. I hope to find another job. I think it's going to be very difficult, very, very difficult. But the last thing you lose is hope. At least that's how I think. For me, work means vitality, energy. I try not to let it get to me and overall to not pass that bitterness onto my family. We don't need to be sad. That's not going to feed us. What this situation has taught me is to enjoy and to value the things we have and to do things with very little money. Because if you think about it too much, you think that there's no way out, that there's no future. And I refuse to think that. I refuse to.